that's basically what Earth is. It's one big uncomfortable situation that you're getting yourself into. And that's why it's so hard. You can never find your groove all the time. It's always ebbs and flows and this and duality. watch over a lot of blue avian soul, star seed soul groups so my soul is part of a soul group of around uh, usually around 10 people or something like that 10 to 12 people or something like that and most of the souls in my soul group are mostly uh, of blue avian star seed origins and same with my spirit guy benjamin who is on my team he is part of this soul group as well but these ninth to twelfth dimensional blue avians, they're very humanoid looking and they're very, very tall, like eight to nine feet tall, I think. And they really uh, help watch over these stall groups. So they, uh, they're kind of like the, the masterminds or the managers behind these stall groups. They help guide us where we need to incarnate, where we need to go, help us with our diet, things like that. And my uh, soul group... Uh, and I will be shifting, I think, so people shift in and out of soul groups because it's all about vibrational frequency. So I will probably be shifting out of my soul group within my next, I don't know, five or so lifetimes into a different soul group that's more high vibrational, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> you know, it's, it's funny. It just, I feel they're very excited to help bring us this message today. They're very excited to you know, deliver their energy forth because it's hard to find for them to find people for them to channel through, people that they resonate with and that they want to channel through. I have a sense that they're very intelligent, like super intelligent, and they have uh, really kind hearts. Like they really care about uh, us and they really care about the people like in my soul group and where we're going here on earth. And they're here to help us. So I do feel a female blue avian energy stepping forward for the blue avians. And uh, I think the reason for that is that I just, I think I do better with female, uh, channeling female energies uh, through, it's mo usually more uh, heart centered. But I actually feel <laughs> these, these blue avians are quite, uh, have a really intense energy like in the head and the third eye and stuff too which is really cool i feel her saying finding the beauty that we can find in our life uh, whether it's in nature or any any part of our life if we can find that beauty that is just amazing and if we find that we will be able to notice that within ourselves more once we focus on you know the outside world how beautiful this earth can be sometimes whether we're in nature or whether the experiences that we have with other people if we if we uh, realize this we can also realize what we have inside or vice versa uh i have a feeling she's wanting to talk about you know being here on earth as a male or being here on earth in general and trying to follow your intuition and how important that can be, how uh, amazing that can be to guide us on, on the, the right path or the most righteous path or whatever you want. And uh, she's talking to me and saying one of my purposes is to help people find that in their heart, find that energy in their heart so that they can lead with this energy throughout their life. What would whether it's like with their intuition or just anything in their life, it's very important to get connected with your heart. And especially as men, we don't do this. Many people on earth don't do this. And that's probably why I incarnated so many times as a female, just so that I could show men 
that we can lead with our heart and life and we can help you know cultivate that amazing energy that's in our heart and uh, go forward with it and make action steps and passion uh, she's saying to me right now that they are willing to come forth to, willing to come forth and help us with our spiritual abilities so if you're needing uh the blue avian <laughs> if you're needing her to come forth and open your third eye or your uh, help you with your intuition or uh, help you with your spiritual abilities or expanding your heart chakras or anything they can really really help just uh, if it's too much you can tell them to step back because it, it is very intense sometimes with their energy uh, let them know if it's too much if it's like too intense for you you can tell them to step back <laughs> she's kind of like laughing and saying like love is one of the most important things that we have here on earth and one of the best things that we have going for us as humans is we know how to love and we have great hearts and that's one of the reasons why we're able to ascend into these higher dimensions uh, into the 5d in the next few hundred years she's telling me our consciousness is expanding our hearts are expanding the depth within us are, is expanding so like may maybe say in the past you know on earth you were only able to focus on survival so it was you're more in like fight or flight a lot of the time so you, you weren't able to build that that depth but now we have much more time on our hands because of the internet because of modern society so we can build that depth within, within us and expand our abilities and our consciousness our hearts and that is allowing us to be able to move forward into this new, these new dimensions here on Earth. Uh, she loves that we are focusing on self-love. Many of us light workers, we're focusing on self-love because that's one of the key points that we really need here on Earth. We need to be kind to ourselves and to love ourselves. That is like a crucial piece of the puzzle that we're, we've been missing for a long time here on Earth and that we need to get better at to be able to ascend. Uh, she's really excited for our species here on Earth, and uh, it shows us like a diamond in the rough. We're going to be shining in the future. Things like self-love will help us shine, our, our soul shine from the inside out. She's showing us ha having more high vibrational bodies, vessels, uh, more high vibrational foods, uh, like so much greenery, uh, it being warmer, <laughs> like more tropical. That makes sense because of, you know, climate change. <laughs> She's saying sometimes we don't need to be so serious. We need to relax and say, oh, I'm going to coast through life. I'm going to, I'm going to do this. At the same time, having that like lightheartedness about it, we can still be, you know, focused on our careers or focused on our goals. But one of the best ways we can do that and be in the flow while we're doing that and following our hearts and our passions is to be in the moment. Uh, yeah, sorry, be in the moment and not be as serious about everything that's happening to us. Because at the end of the day, this is all an illusion here on Earth. We're just incarnating into these vessels and we're doing the best that we can. And uh, don't be too hard on yourself. She's telling me many of us are starting to realize that our limitations, and that is a crucial first step in awakening, is realizing your, your limitations and as light workers and what's holding you back. And most of the time it's us <laughs> most of the time it's and that's why this time has happened here on earth is to help uh, revel up and so you can be more introspective and see who you are as a person and see those limitations and what you need to do to get past these limitations in your life to move you into new environments to move you into new experiences more light-filled experiences this is all part of the awakening here on earth She's really saying, you know, us being here on Earth, we have to realize that we are light too. That we can't just keep holding ourselves back and saying, oh, I have a lot of heaviness and this and that. We have to realize that we are light. We are just as light-filled as any other species, I guess you could say. <laughs> we, are, we are made of light, just like, just like the Blue Avians, just like the Pleiadians. She's, she really likes our, like, our, the love that we humans have for each other here on Earth. Is, she's saying it's, like, contagious. She really likes it <laughs> a lot. Our, like, happiness, our giddiness.
I think that's one of the main reasons I like the human experience a lot is you, you get to have fun in the physical flesh and the physical form and talk and uh, being funny and like having having all these humorous conversations with people and uh, making fun of things, making fun of your life, life making fun of your demise. <laughs> That's one of the most fun parts of that. And that's one of the, in my blue, blue avian lifetimes, we were kind of like that, like real funny like that. I, I noticed when I've channeled my spirit guide, he's like that. He's real funny. And uh, so I'm asking her, why do blue avians incarnate here on earth? Why would they do that? Because <laughs> it's been very hard for me at times to, you know, get grounded. Very, very hard. She's saying we we come to Earth for all different kinds of reasons, all of us. She's saying every soul is unique and different. Everyone has different origins, things like that. Uh, goes about life a different way. But she, but she's also saying it's not where you've come from; it's where you end up. <laughs> so you're on Earth. It doesn't matter wh wh which where you come from. We all have got to realize we all need to work on a lot of the same things here in this human form, whether it's being grounded. Everyone needs more grounding. Everyone needs more self-love. Everyone needs, you know, to follow their heart, their intuition more. And we can all work on these things. But getting back to that question. <laughs> she's saying we all come to Earth for different reasons. That's basically what Earth is. It's one big uncomfortable situation. That you're getting yourself into it and that's why it's so hard you can never find your groove all the time it's always ebbs and flows and this and duality and polarity <laughs> and stuff my soul wanted this uncomfortableness this this almost like this feeling of it being like really hard <laughs> a challenge that's what it is challenge she's saying not all souls want this challenge this this lots of expansion and this growth not many souls not many souls chose choose to do this because you have to be brave your soul has to be very brave and you have to uh you know wanting to go into the fray uh for lack of better words <laughs> but at the same time she's saying we have what it takes us light workers us star seeds that are that came here if we didn't have what it took, we wouldn't be here in the first place. She's saying, find that strength within you, that light within you, and you can, you will, you know, prevail in the end. Uh, like whether it's being happy, just happy here on earth, or getting used to your human body. These are all amazing things that we can learn here uh, about these new vessels here on earth these new experiences that no other place on, in the galaxy you can find this incredible experience, even though it might be daunting at times. <laughs> might be pretty, not very good. <laughs> gotta make, you gotta make fun of it sometimes. So she's saying, expand your awareness. You're not the only one. <laughs> You're not the only starseed. We have so many here on Earth. Expand your awareness. You're not the only one that's struggling as a starseed here on Earth. Or, or doing well. She's saying the light worker path is one of the most difficult paths that you can take here on Earth. But it's also one of the most gratifying paths as well. Service to others can be uh, an incredible experience. Expanding, growing, not being stagnant. She's saying this ever-changing flow of events, you know, being a light worker, you know, awakening, you know, the dark night of the soul, and different things that she, she likes this. It's better, it's a better energy than just staying still and asleep and say, oh, there's nothing out there in the world. Oh, I'm just gonna focus on my job and that's it, or something. <laughs> She's saying it may be seen as weird what light workers are doing, but it won't be for long. Here on earth, 
this is going to be the most more dominant frequency going forward. She's saying many of you are ahead of your time. So like in the future, like this, what we're doing now is going to be just normal in say like 100 years or even 50 years. It's already becoming normal, I guess you could say, this uh, movement, this new age movement, light workers and things like that. So I, now I kind of see her stepping back and uh, let me know in the comments what you felt of her energy. Very high, high, dim high dimensional, high vibrational blue avian. And if you would like to any other videos, type in the comments what you would like to see next. And please like and subscribe. If you want to take the mediumship course coming up in the next few weeks, uh, I would really, you know, recommend doing that. Chris and Davies will be running it. I will be in the course going live once or twice, helping you guys uh, learn how to channel spirit, learn how to channel these amazing starseed beings, amazing uh, angels, your angelic team, being able to pick up on your intuition of what you want to do in life where you want to go and to have more clarity and that's one of the main things that they, these courses have helped me with is having more clarity in your life because we all need more of that but anyways thanks for watching Oh